I was not a believer. He plays his first preseason game in Tasmania. They play against the defending champs. They got the Australian Pat Beverly at the point guard spot. The defending champs, his name is Damian Martin. Six-time defensive player of the year. Six-time champion. He just retired. This is the benchmark for point guards. Let's see what you do against this team, the Perth Wildcats, and let's see what you do against Damian Martin. He is the Australian Patrick Beverly. Melo finishes with 19 points, 12 rebounds, six assists, three steals. They win in overtime. They start fully denying him at the end of this game and damn near double teaming him so he couldn't get the ball. After that game, I knew this is a pro. He's the number one pick in the NBA draft. One, this league is world class. Two, what he did against Damian Martin, I've never seen any kid at that age even attempt to do. Three, he's 18 years old. He's six seven. His ability to do what he does at that young age, you can't teach that. Four, in this league, he averaged 17, seven and seven. In a world-class professional league, 17, seven and seven. Tell me a point guard in college right now that can do that. Right now. Right now, I can't. I can't. You can't name one. Remember, overseas, you're getting seven assists. You can't dribble. So how accurate the pass got to be, the play has to be made. And that guy got to make the shot, obviously. You get what I'm saying? Now, his last two games in the NBL, you know what he had? Back-to-back triple doubles. The first 18-year-old in the history of this league to ever get a triple-double, but he got back-to-back. That's the only player in the history of this league to do that. How can you do these things in a league like this? He's the only player to do it. And the first triple-double, right? You know who was sitting half-court? The GM for Mike Jordan team. He was sitting half-court. I'm checked. Half court. And you know who we did it against? He did it against Scott Machado. Shout out to New York. Scott Machado. And on the other hand, Scott Machado finished last season with the Lakers. Yeah. He finished last year with the Lakers. So what am I telling you? Who did he do it against? Pretty much an NBA player. Now, granted, Scott Machado had 22 and 14. He's supposed to do what he does. This kid is 18 years old doing that. He number one. We're not going to – now let's get into the fact that that's a franchise player written all over him. He's with Rock Nation. Five million followers on the gram. This is popcorn. He's a movie walking. He's, 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 he's a quiet kid. Huh? He seems like a quiet kid. He's a kid. He is his age. Okay? Most kids – come from broken homes, come from no money, don't know how to act when they get a bag. In between that, no money, broken home, get a bag. There's no development. That's why a lot of these kids go crazy, right? They lose their mind when they get all that money. This kid grew up in money. He drive Lamborghinis, his own. So my point is, off the court, you do not have to worry about him. There's cameras in his face all the time. You don't have to worry about that. He's used to the fame because he's famous before going into the league. He got franchise written all over him. He's a generational point guard. 